please like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. I will show you here how to update successfully. VMware Workstation Player 17.0.0 is free for non-commercial usage for Windows 11 Pro. After opening VMware Workstation Player, go to the menu, Player, Help, about as you see the version is 17.0.0, and, as you see I have a Mac OS Ventura VM. First, I will show you the Mac OS Ventura Virtual Machine, prior to the update. The most crucial step is when the PC restarts for the first time, to resume the update, how to resume the VMware update. I will shut down the VM, and continue to update. To check for new releases of the VMware software go to Menu, Player, Help, Software Updates, As you see an updated version is available, 17.5.0. After being prompted to update to 17.5.0, I have followed these steps in this video, considering I had in my hypervisor unlocked VMs for Mac OS, since needed under Windows and Linux hosts PCs. And this should be enabled after the update done, because the update will remove the unlocking of Mac OS VMs. I continue with the update, after restart prompt, I restarted PC, first restart. The important part is here. To continue and resume the update process by, 1. Start VMware app and from the apps menu, 2. Then go to menu, help, software updates, click, check for updates, pop up, click, download and install. I continue slash follow the wizard with the update. Note, the resume of the update is like the initial start update process. After following the wizard, and restart prompt, I restarted PC, for the second time in the last restart. When the PC booted up, I opened the VMware Workstation Player app and checked the software version was 17.5.0.
Checking again for new updates, I prompted no other updates exist. I started the VM Mac OS Ventura, but it failed in an infinite loop on the boot process. This is because the update relocked the VMware hypervisor app. For Mac OS VMs. To fix this, following a straightforward process, from the link in the description, I download the VMware Unlocker for Mac OS VMs. Extracted zip in place and, after disabling my average antivirus, and having the VMware app closed, I ran from Unlocker Extract Windows Directory, the Unlock. EXE file having given permission to proceed, even Windows Prompt Alert. Another trick, to ensure the unlock and patch went well, is to first run from the Windows folder check exe, which will show zeros, after, from the same folder run unlock exe, and to check the unlock went again well, you run check exe again to see ones, ones, rather than zeros, zeros. And finally, you may want to re-enable the antivirus program of the Windows 11 host. Now Mac OS VM should be running OK. Hopefully, now the Mac OS VM on the Windows host will start and run OK. Crucial point 1 is, resuming the update process, of the hypervisor VMware app, exactly like you started, after the first restart prompt. Crucial point 2 is, ignoring security alerts, for running check. EXE and unlock. EXE patch unlocker files. I can now browse and search the web, Google, and YouTube on a Mac OS VM in a Windows host PC. I could install Xcode and Apple developer tools, or update Ventura OS to Sonoma OS, if the processor is 8 Gen Intel and up. Useful links are in the description, also, my blog post article URL address for this video, and my email address for any questions or links to download the Mac OS ISO files, are in the description, too. Any questions, post them below in the comments. I don't think so. There's not a single bit of flexing or creaking on the Xiaomi. The vegan leather on the back, to me, feels just... Please like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.